Good morning. It's time for uh, Appa in the morning. A little Appa uh, coffee, a little Appa cup, and Appa football. This is the 1983 USFL season I'm playing. This is the start of week three. Um, so already we're starting three of seven regular season contests, and then the uh, full uh, uh, playoffs will start with uh, six teams out of 12 making it to the playoffs. This is the 2-0 Los Angeles Express uh, traveling just a few, uh, just, a, just a click or two over to face the Arizona uh, Wranglers. Arizona is 1-1, one and, one, and um, this team has performed better than their record. Um, they are uh, outmatched in this game as well, but both teams are in the B index. Arizona is one point away from being pushed into a C offense. So... Um, that's how close Arizona is to not uh, uh, being uh, very good at all on offense. They've actually performed better than expected. Uh, they were four and fourteen in reality, uh, but they do or they are, they have played better than that suggests. And L.A. was eight and ten, but boy, they have been. Uh, they put up thirty eight on the Philadelphia Express in week one in a shootout and found a way to win that. And then last week with the help of four really good running backs. Uh, off the bench, Barnett and Haslip really controlled the, the second half of the of the uh, L.A. game last week uh, and punched in a couple of touchdowns. And then Tony Boney and LaRue Harrington are their starters who are fantastic. So those of you may remember, I make a pregame injury roll for both teams in any of my fantasy leagues, uh, like my 58 and an AFL and this USFL, and I call this fantasy because I'm not really I'm not really replaying it completely. Plus, I'm doing a whole I'm doing a schedule of my own making, etc. I don't have injuries on my simple solo charts, uh, so I make a pregame injury roll for both teams every for every game. And if I roll a seven, if I crap out, somebody gets hurt among the starting six, the the main guys. And Mike Ray for LA is out for this game. So sometime during the week. Or from last week, Mike Ray's nursing an injury. So Tom Ramsey starting a quarterback for L.A. So this is not quite the same L.A. team that is 2-0. Tom Ramsey's rated the same, but his numbers on his card are, of course, different. And then I made a roll for the home team, and sure enough, I crapped out well, with a 7. As everybody knows, 7 is the most likely number to be rolled in 2d6. And an injury occurred here, and it was uh, their star wide receiver, Jackie Flowers is going to miss this game. So they're going to go from a A receiver to a C receiver at Billy Rickman coming in there. And um, it didn't affect their grade much. It affected their grade by two points. But it really affects the fact that they had three A receivers in the uh, 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 wide receivers. So we'll see how this fares. Uh, again, I no longer call a defense. I call the offense and the play call the person. Then I roll to see if the offense is executing, the defense is executing, or if they're both neutral. Um, this reflects the defensive execution, basically. All right, here we go. Uh, Arizona, Los Angeles lost the coin toss to Arizona, elected to receive. So we will be kicking off to Arizona. I'm going to try to do just commentary, not a lot of number talk. So I've been doing that to kind of show how the charts work and how everything works. But from here on out, I just want to play and talk about football. So here we go. The kickoff by Abbott is going to be fielded at the seven yard line. And it's going to take discipline because I've been teaching myself how to talk about the games. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to play. And fielded by Wally Henry. And Wally Henry uh, is going to pick up and be uh, 17 and be ripped down at the 24 yard line. Not, a, not too bad a return for Henry. All right, starting on offense for your one and one Arizona Wranglers at left tackle Jeff Keywell, at left guard Frank Khalil, or at center Glenn McCormick, at right guard Dave Audi, and at right tackle Terry Falcon. That is your starting front five. Your skill positions in the huddle: catching passes at split in Neil Ballholm. A tight end, Mark Kill, and in today for the injured uh, Jackie Flowers at flanker receiver is Billy Rickman. Uh, in the backfield at fullback, Steve Howell. Uh, uh, beside him at halfback is Calvin Murray, 
and under center is Alan Risher. And that is our starting offense. And we're going to open it up with a handoff to Murray. <clears throat> so Murray uh, gets the handoff, takes a step to the right, piles in behind his center, and picks up, if I could, see, if I could read, and picks up, where am I at here? And picks up, I can't believe it, where am I at? Um, Oh, wow, and gets stripped in the backfield. Ball is loose. Can you believe it? So, uh, he gets hammered in the backfield um, on the first carry. And, oh, luckily for him, though, uh, his left tackle, Jeff Keywell, is going to fall on that ball, second and 12. Wow, let's take a look at the defense that almost took the ball away, the L.A. Express defense that stripped the ball from Murray on the first carry. Left end, Greg Fields. Left tackle, Eddie Weaver. Middle linebacker, Greg Williams. Right tackle, Clifton Alapa. Right end, Dennis Edwards. Strong side linebacker, Eric Scroggins. Weak side linebacker, William Franey. Left cornerback, Terry Justin. Responsible today for Neil Balholm. Norm Myers is our right cornerback, and he, of course, will be covering Billy Rickman in for Jackie Flowers. So his duty lessened quite a bit uh, come game time today. Mike Fox at strong safety, and Bubba Hosey at free safety. This is a good football team. It really is. They're 2-0 and for a reason, folks. All right, Arizona, uh, first play of the game was a little... Uh, Left something to be desired. Let's see if they can get it right. We're going to hand it off to Steve Howell, fullback. First man through. First man through is going to pick up two yards. One, two. Well, he gets back what they lost on first down. It's third. Uh, Rickman, or uh, uh, Reicher, will be going into a, a shotgun formation, and he will be looking for his strong tight end, Mark Kill, on the first pass of the day. Drops back, looking, pass protection by Steve Howell. Calvin Murray floating out of the backfield as a backup. And here we go. It's going to be a beautiful pass. Reicher on target with anticipation. is going to throw three 35-yard strike. So he finds his tight end on a seam route. These two safeties have to close and chase to pull down the tight end, Fox and Hosey. So he, he draws a safety away with a halfback roll out of the backfield. Finds his tight end in the seam, and all it's all she wrote for 35, 11, 21, 31, and 4. Beautiful, folks. They're down to the 41 of L.A. The crowd here in uh, Tempe, Sun Devil Stadium, on their feet. Um, again, the crowd pushed to the camera angles, so it looks like there's more people here than there are. But nonetheless, nonetheless it's a beautiful spring day here in Arizona. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass again to Neil Bellholm. All in Richard, uh, they, one thing they can do is throw the ball. He drops, sets, he's looking, he rolls to his right, he takes off, folks. He's on the run, and he runs for, oh, and he picks up, he picks up eight yards, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. He's flushed from the pocket and decides just to take an open hole against this defense. The defensive end crashed inside, and they let him get outside contained, and when he saw that open field, he just took off. Alan Risher, good job. Good block downfield by Neil Balham when he saw his quarterback on the run. Second and two. Second and two. We're going to try handing it off to Calvin Murray again, this time on a power sweep, following Mark Keel and Steve Howell around the right side. He's, he's got a corner, he's looking, he's, uh, he's uh, dipping in and out, and he finally turns it upfield through a seam, picks up five, and steps out of bounds after the first down. The chains are moving, the refs have signaled first, the crowd again on their feet. This is an exciting opening for Arizona, a team that is 1-1, one one, performing better than expected against a 2-0 and o team that, that has uh, uh, showed they are capable of beating anybody. All right, we're going to pitch it to Murray again, this time from an I formation. He's going to let literally an old, the old toss sweep left. Now he gets the pitch out. He's rumbling, and he's going to get another five yards. So right now, Arizona in control of the line of scrimmage with these, um, despite the defense being ready for that, they're in control of the line of scrimmage. That's two five-yard carries. 
for Kelvin Murray. After a fumble on the first snap, he's righted the ship, so to speak. Alan Richard's going to look for that big tight end again. We're going to drop back set, both backs blocking. Oh, and he's going to get uh, he's going to get what he wants. This is going to be beautiful. Let's see if he executes. No, he's going to turn it upfield and run again. So Alan Risher, they flush him from the pocket again. And this time he rumbles for five in the first down. He just runs to the pylon, to the sticks, and sticks that ball out as he steps out to guarantee he got the first down. And uh, he just runs, takes off and runs for that first down, steps out of bounds. And right now, Alan Risher is looking like a bona fide USFL superstar. This guy has been fantastic. We're going to hand it off to the big fullback. Uh, first man through from the I formation. Uh, straight right up the gut. And it's going to be 11 uh, yards. Holy cow. 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, the soft underbelly of the LA uh, Express defense is exposed by Big Steve Howell. That would be Eddie Weaver, Greg Williams, Clifton Alpa, and to be honest, they're anything but a soft underbelly. These guys are 5 3 3. So, but the reality is, they just punch through. This center, the center of this line is getting the job done. First and goal at the seven yard line. And we're going to go ahead and bring in Curtis Bledsoe, their other great back. And we're going to bring him in for Calvin Murray. We're going to go with Bledsoe. He's a slightly more, a slightly bigger and a slightly more, um, veteran back right and we're going to give Bledsoe the ball up the gut and it's going to be a nice handoff he's going to hold the fort and plow ahead for five yards we're down to the two Bledsoe is their short down short yardage man let's just hope he doesn't fumble the ball it's second goal at the two and here we go they're in a goal line set now folks goal line set the the express uh, on their heels after a brilliant opening drive by Arizona we're going to give it to Bledsoe again. Steve, Steve Howell and Mark Kill uh, at the point of attack. Seven men on one side of the ball at the point of attack. Here we go, 36, Bledsoe. Numbers is what wins you position in football. Can you get more people to the point of attack? and Or can you create less people at a point of attack with a with a counter, right? Or a raz, with a, a finesse, right? 36 is a one yard, he plows ahead, third and goal from the one, as Bledsoe this time is slowed down by this front seven, front eight, and again, we're at the goal line, so all 11 guys are crowding the line of scrimmage. It's third and one, they don't want to settle for a field goal here. Um, we're going to go ahead and line up again, Bledsoe, Howell, and I'm going to roll to see which back gets the carry. One, two, three, it's going to be Howell. Four, five, six is Bledsoe for a third carry. Yep, it's going to be Howell. So they're going to hand it off to the first man through. They're going to show a near formation, fullback behind the behind the quarterback and the uh, halfback on the uh, uh, right side behind the tight end, making it a near formation as opposed to a far formation. But the fullback from that three-point stance, a yard off the ball, gets the snap. First man through, they're driving in, try to score here on third and goal, third and one. And Howell gets the snap. Ooh, and he gets hammered in the backfield, driving his legs. Greg Fields comes in, grabs, tri uh, rips, pulls, and pulls him back. Matter of fact, let's roll to see who gets in the backfield for this two-yard loss. 23 is high. So my highest rated guy, that would be Weaver probably. Eddie Weaver, the nose tackle, or actually, excuse me, left tackle. Yep, my highest rated player, Eddie Weaver, is a tackle five. He blasts through uh, the, between the left or uh, the right guard and the center, and buries Howell for a two-yard loss. It's fourth and goal at the three. Beautiful play there by Eddie Weaver. You can use my QS for interceptions if you rather if you rather use highs, lows. So you can use QS for interceptions, fumbles, tackles, or you can use the fumble interception. Right, high would refer in this situation to their grade, their highest grade. So there's a tackle because <clears throat> I have a rating high through seventh highest. All right, so there we have it, folks. A uh, huge play. It's fourth and goal at the three. Arizona with a brilliant opening drive, and they stall trying to run it in. Um, do we go for it? Um, Arizona at home. Opening. Do you want to squander your opening drive with a missed field goal? 
Do you want to squander your opening drive by going for it and failing? Do you want to come away with something to show for it at home in a very tight contest? And again, both these teams are pretty closely rated. Um, no, you only live once in Arizona at home, feeling it. The crowd may be getting their juices up. We're going for it because we would pin them right here. If we don't get in, we're pinning them. They're going to have to go a long way. So here we go, folks. Fourth down, fourth and goal, goal line defense. We're going to bring in uh, Calvin Murray. We're going to bring in How of Bledsoe. So Bledsoe also can play fullback as well. So can Calvin Murray. So we're going to keep the two more agile backs, Bledsoe and Murray, and, and Steve Howell, our fullback, is out. So we're going to have Bledsoe now at fullback. We're going to have Calvin Murray at halfback. And we're going to swing a pass out to Calvin Murray here uh, and let's see if we can get them on a we have no choice we want to obviously their front seven is winning so let's go ahead and try to spread it out and sprint to the corner on a quick swing pass and he drops they're going to execute so the offense is in control here so the offense wins this with a play action so you can imagine these guys have been loaded up to stop the run this tells me that they play action and they get murray freed up out here on a, on a linebacker or something 61, it's all on Reicher now, 61-12, down one, touchdown, seven yards. So Alan Reicher converts a th fourth and goal pass to Murray. And Arizona trying to go to 2-0. and oh. What a brilliant opening drive. Reicher, three-yard pass to Murray. And, that, and this tells me they executed a perfect play call. Play action uh, run, dive up the gut to Bledsoe, and nobody followed Murray out of the backfield. And he's wide open in the flat for the touchdown. Extra point. Now, if Denfield misses this, you'll know why I didn't kick it. He won't miss this, I don't think, though. 64. No, he makes the PAT. And Arizona's opening drive, they send a m message to Los Angeles. You're in our house. You're in our house. The crowd roars. The camera pans around selected camera angles, so again, it looks like the stadium's full. Not good to show empty seats. And here we go. L.A. is going to have, they're up against it already. Beautiful drive. Absolutely stunning. Denfield's going to boot this. And it's going to be filled at around the 10-yard line. <clears throat> By Anthony Allen, he takes this on a on a on a short kick, high and short. He fields it, and he rumbles out to the 31 before he's finally pushed out of bounds. And again, giving LA a brilliant starting spot at the 31 yard line. First and 10. Los Angeles takes the field. This offensive line is pretty good. We've got left tackle Fala Lafua. We got left guard Mike Durrett, Wayne Jones at center, Paul Cornelius at right guard, and Gus Coppins at right tackle. In the backfield, uh, skilled positions, wide receiver uh, Chris Haynes, tight end Ricky Ellis, and uh, flanker receiver Kevin Williams. In the backfield, Tony Bodie at halfback, and he's a pure halfback. And fullback, LaRue Harrington. And then we have, starting at quarterback today, in for the injured Mike Ray, is Tom Ramsey. And that is our starting offense for Los Angeles. Be aware, folks, that uh, John Barnett and Wil uh, Wilbur Haslip are known to play a good portion of the game in short yarded situations for L.A. Last week, those two really dominated for L.A. Here we go. Let's see what this... LATs has up their sleeve for the play one. And they're going to start it off with a pass to Chris Haynes. Tom Ramsey, they're going to find out whether Tom Ramsey studied his playbook in anticipation that Mike Gray might not be ready today. And, oh, snake eyes. He drops sets. He picks up a block from Harrington, sealing Kelvin Clark out of the play, and he flings it. Uh, he flings it. We do not modify this. He flings it for 35-9. 19, 29, and 6. A beautiful pass down to the opponent's 34-yard line as Chris Haynes beats his cornerback dead to rights. He beats Eddie Ray Walker and is gone. Eddie Ray Walker is beatable. The man is a Q CB2 W4. 
Easy pickings for Chris Haynes on the first play of the game, a bomb. Tom Ramsey, that sends a signal to the staff, to the, te to the team, and to the fans that, that Tom Ramsey, we aren't afraid to pass with Tom Ramsey. And there it is, folks. Tom Ramsey lets them know early, we're, we've come here to win. Beautiful. Starting on this defense today against Tom Ramsey, in for injured Mike Ray, is Calvin Clark at left end. Guy is outstanding. Bob Nelson at left tackle. Ben Apuna at middle linebacker. Robin Fisher at tackle. Ray Cadage at right end. Uh, strong side linebacker, Sam Norris. He can slide over in the nickel to middle linebacker. John Kimmel at weak side linebacker, also capable of sliding over to middle linebacker. Eddie Ray Walker, who was unfortunately just beat by Chris Haynes on a 35-yard bomb at left corner. Right corner, Hollis Hall uh, is going to have to deal with Kevin Williams, which is a slightly easier uh, tar, uh, 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 workload today. At strong safety, Aaron Mitchell. And at we, uh, free safety, Tommy Wilcox. And again, these guys have all played over their heads. They're not horrible, though. I will say that. For a 414 team, I've not seen a lot of horrible out of this Arizona team. All right, here we go. We're going to pass to Ricky uh, Ellis. So we're going to go on the second play of the game. We're going to throw a pass to their incredible tight end, Ricky Ellis. They drop back. They get exactly what they want as Ricky Ellis uh, breaks free of a shallow zone, and he's he's wandering into the middle of the field on maybe a uh, a little um, turn in route. But Ramsey, what does he have up his sleeve? Well, it's not good, folks. Ramsey throws a, a 12 yard interception. Son of a gun. So there we go. We got a little hot. Ramsey excited. He throws a beautiful strike. Well, here it is, folks. This is why Ramsey wasn't the starter originally. 9, 10, 11, 12 on a 7. 3, 4, 7, 34 is an interception. And Ramsey is intercepted. They have to hope that this guy has stone hands over here. 66 is picked off by D4. He might. And yeah, Robin Fisher, so he steps out, he drops back into coverage as a stand-up. So that outside linebacker slash tackle tells me this guy can drop into zone from a tackle position. Zone blitz, back in the 80s, the zone blitz, this guy's capable of playing. So I could see this guy shifting before the snap into a stand-up outside backer. He drops against the tight end. It looks like he's open. Ramsey falls for it, and this guy stands up, bats the ball up. Unfortunately, can't get his mitts on it. It falls incomplete, and Ramsey, the crowd roars, and then they sigh when they hear that, they see that ball hit the ground. Referee signals, no, 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 and it's second and ten. Tom Ramsey uh, shaking his head with a, whoo, whoo, dodged a bullet there. He did not see that zone blitz, that tackle, stand and drop into an outside backer position. He never saw him. With that said, we're going to pitch it to Tony Bodie, and Tony Bodie gets beautiful blocks up front. Um... It's going to be, uh, but he gets tore down anyway. Holy cow, great blocks, but Bodie just couldn't find space. Ran all the way to the pylon, stepped out of bounds. He went laterally all the way to the sidelines. Uh, could not find a hole. Um, now we have to pass. Third and ten, we're looking for Chris Haynes again. He did have a good opening, and again, Chris Haynes beats his cornerback on a beautiful route. Tom Ramsey drops sets. He's got protection from LaRue and Bodie. And no, he takes off and runs. So Ramsey, feeling the pressure, takes off and runs. And he's going to run for a loss of one, which is technically a sack right there. He goes down. It's fourth and 11 at the 35-yard line. They are in field goal position. And boy, the Arizona fans on their feet, in full throat, what are here, are enjoying what they are seeing. And they are believing in their Arizona Wranglers, folks, as they have showed a brilliant opening drive. And now a satisfying stop. Ramsey made it like it was going to be a long day when Haynes caught that opening bomb for a touchdown. But the Arizona Wranglers tightened up. And we're going to send Abbott out. So he's going to spot the ball seven yards back behind the center. It's a snap. It's a set. And he steps, kicks. It's going to be good. He hits a 42-yarder, folks, to make it 3-7. to seven. Abbott. 42-yard field goal. It is three to seven, and uh, Arizona has to be happy with that after giving up a 35-yard bomb to open the game. Uh, let's see here. The ball is going to be fielded at the seven, 
And Wally Henry with a nice collection of the ball takes off, folks. He's got lanes. He's moving. And he's going to squeeze up to the 30-yard line. Outstanding work. As he gets some lanes there and pills through, he starts to turn to the right, thinking he can get to the edge and outrun everybody and gets tripped up by a diving player. And there it is, folks. He's at the 30. Wow. I have a lot of confidence now in Arizona. My God, that first drive was unbelievable. It started with a fumble. Fortunately, it didn't lose it. And then Arizona just tightened everything up and took off. All right, we're going to open it up with a Cal... Uh, we're going to open it up with a Howell. Last time I opened it up with Calvin Murray, he dropped the ball. We're going to open it up with a fullback run. They're going to get great blocks up front, but it's not going to get them much as he gets hammered in the backfield. There's just not enough there against that great tackle of uh, uh, against Greg Fields and Eddie Weaver. After that first couple of carries, Eddie Weaver has said, I've had enough of this getting pushed around. Weaver might have underestimated the center and guard combination, and now uh, he's playing. It is second and ten. We're going to go ahead and pass out to Calvin Murray on a screen. We're going to drop and let those guys come, and we're going to see if we can squeeze off a screen pass here. And it's zipped out to Calvin Murray, and he's going to get it in the flat and take off, wind his way through tacklers, and out to the 45 for a 15-yard pickup. First down, Kelvin Murray, brilliant. We're going to take Murray out. We're going to go with a big backfield. Powell and Bledsoe in. We have not targeted uh, Rickman today, the guy in for Flowers. We're probably not going to until I get a sense of what kind of day it's going to be. Right now, I'm getting a sense Arizona's hot. We're going to hand it to Curtis Bledsoe now. We're going to start to take control of this ballgame. Again, uh, they're basically playing a, a, a read-and-react defense right now. It's a handoff up the gut. It's going to get them three yards. One, two, three. Second down and seven. Uh, holding on to a four-point lead. It is second and seven at midfield. And we're going to go ahead and pass to Bill Rickman, the, the flanker back. Uh, we'll see how the defense reacts. The defense is purely ready for this play action. They don't get fooled. They are in, they are in perfect coverage. Backpedaling cornerbacks are reading everything with their eyes, keeping everything in front of them. And Reicher is forced to thread the needle here. No, he gets popped. Reicher is literally going to throw a strike for 16. He finds his target. You could uh, Again, they pack pedal, and he finds him on a, on a short post for 16, but the ball is ripped loose by someone, too. So uh, 16 yards downfield, the ball is on the ground. They are calling it a catch. They have not blown the whistle. People are diving on the ball, and it's picked up by 05. Hallelujah. The right tackle, Terry Fallon. All of these guys, when the pass goes, everybody goes downfield, and that ball, they're all fighting for it in a scrum. They pile on, pile on, pile on. As everybody's wrestling for that, the crowd uh, screaming as they're hoping it's their ball, and at the end of the pile, somehow Terry Falcon, underneath a pile of bodies, secured the football for his hometown, Arizona Wranglers. Good job, Terry Falcon. It's first down. That would have been a, that's a 16-yard pass to the backup Billy Rickman in for an injured Jackie Flowers. And I think Arizona, everything's gone their way. They fumbled on the first play, got it back. Strike, got it back. Fourth down and three, touchdown pass. Everything is going their way right now. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to hand it off to Curtis Bledsoe. Again, we're going to try to establish a running game here. He gets the ball. These guys are playing again, read and react. And he's going to plow through. For eight yards, six, seven, eight. At some point, they're going to have to commit and get a takeaway. They had a chance there. Somebody hit a big hit on them. It was probably our our free our strong safety, Mike Fox, made a big hit. Unfortunately, they let Terry Falcon wiggle in and strong arm the football away from somebody underneath that pile. And well, by the time the refs unpile everybody, Terry Falcon had the football. Calvin Murray comes in to give Bledsoe a rest. Calvin Murray, a very good back, can catch and run, folks. He does tend to uh, carry that uh, ball like a loaf of bread, and we're going to hand it to him now. So here we go. Calvin Murray gets the ball, diving up the gut behind Steve Howell. Let's see if he can drive through for the uh, in the yardage. He gets two in the first down. He literally drives his legs through and is collapsed down, and they come out to measure, and they find he got enough, and the crowd here roars. They cut to some uh, uh, safe TV shots to make sure that it's of screaming, happy fans. They don't show holes in the stadium. 
right? It's a very important to make sure people perceive this USFL as a successful league. Uh, here we go. We're going to pass for their stud tight end, Mark Keel. Uh, Alan Richard drops back. Howell and Murray staying in the backfield to help pick up the pressure from the LA Express. They're going to execute this beautifully. Are the Alan Richard? He drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be uh, 13 yards and a first down just past the posts. 11, 12, 13. First down at the 13 yard line. And Mark Keel gets wide open in the center of the field. These guys, these backs stay in. Uh, they execute, pick up uh, the pressure. Risher is comfortable back there. He just fires a perfect pass to Mark Keel. First down and 10 at the 13-yard line. And Arizona is looking to score two back-to-back -back touchdowns if this continues. Okay, we're going to pitch it to Calvin Murray. From the pro set, it's going to be a quick up and a weak side toss. So they show everything goes right, but they pitch it backside, weak side, which means... The left tackle, by his lonesome, has to beat the weak side linebacker. That's going to be William Franey. So you can imagine over here, Falcon, the man who recovered the fumble, he's got to seal William Franey for this weak side pitch to work. Let's see if it happens. It's a weak side counter, uh, counter pitch. Everybody shows a right run except for the halfback and the quarterback pitches. And here it is, folks. Oh, beautiful execution. Falcon wins. 52. Calvin Murray gets the pitch. Oh, but he just... So does he win? He does. I would assume the free safety comes up and cuts down Calvin Murray as he's tiptoeing back there. It's Hosey that comes up and wins the day, second and ten. Hosey, the free safety. You can almost track tackles by recognizing what kind of... So run inside, what does that mean? Well, it, again, in mind, it can be whatever we describe. And you can almost create the X's and O's matchups of how things occur if you want to track tackles organically, right? You can literally track organic tackles. Second and two, especially if we don't define what the run or the pass is, right? <clears throat> I define it by what I call. I define it by what I describe. All right, Calvin Murray out of the ball game. He was tiptoeing there, and he let Hosey come up and cut him down. He had the block from Terry Falcon in that execution. It wasn't enough, though. Terry Falcon comes back shaking his head. Uh, pats Calvin Murray on the head and says, man, you gotta, you got to follow my block, man. All right, here we go. We're going to give Bledsoe the carry, second and ten. And the defense is ready for this up-the-gut stuff. And uh, he gets the blow, gets cut down. There's nowhere to go. They wrestle and fight, and he gets nothing. It's third down. Alan Richer has no choice. We're going to have to go to a shotgun. Uh, we're going to go uh, shotgun, Murray and Howell in the backfield. Murray will be coming out in a route. And here we go. We're going to have four men in the route. Steve Howell stays in the block. And we're going to look for Neil Bellholm, our best receiver. Reicher, hopefully Howell can pick up any blocks. He drops, he sets, he looks. He fires for Bellholm in the corner, incomplete, over his head. The crowd on their feet. And then as a, a, a collective gasp when the ball is just a little too far and high, out of bounds. Fourth down. So Arizona has a beautiful drive, but it stalls here in the red zone. Great job, L.A., in the read and react, bend but don't break defense of the 1970s and 80s. Phil Denfield could be a hero and make it a seven-point game. He comes out, set, kick, boom, and it is good. Denfield. Denfield is his name. No, it is Denfield. And he makes a 35-yard field goal, folks. It is 3-10. Arizona is, is exercising complete control of this game right now at home in the first quarter against the better 2-0 LA Express. They are rising to the occasion of hosting the LA Express. And the kick is going to put the ball at the 6-yard line for this, uh, this uh, special teams man. And here we go, Anthony Allen. <clears throat> Anthony Allen gets the pitch, uh, gets the uh, kick return. He takes off. He's going to rip up 27 out to the 33. So Allen Rickman bursts through, and the place kicker and the last two um, inside men have to drag him down to stop it from gaining more yardage. And they're getting good field position. Now they've got to execute with a backup quarterback, Tom Randy. All right, here we go. We're going to pitch it to Tony Bodie. We're going to try to get the ground game going here in L.A. Yep, beautiful execution. Tony Bodie gets a pitch out. He's got some blocks. 
He's going to the right, going to the left, and he gets drugged down in the backfield, gets nothing. Again, they're tiptoeing. They're not actually getting past the line of scrimmage. Too much lateral tiptoeing for these, these backs. Going to have to change that. We're going to hand it off up the gut to LaRue. And LaRue gets the handoff, dives up the gut. It's going to pick up 11. That's what they need to do. So again, maybe their strength is in the center of this offensive line, which will be their right guard, Durrett, and, and Wayne Jones, not to mention Cornelius. But these two, the right side is the power side, Durrett and Jones up the gut behind Big LaRue following huge blockers. And he picks up 11 and a first down. That'll work. First down. L.A. would like to score here to end the first quarter. It is closing in to the final moments of the first quarter. And we're going to pass to Ricky Ellis, the tight end. A little out route. Drops, sets, fires. It's going to turn into much more. We don't modify this. He drops, sets. Bodie chops down a blitzing uh, backer. LaRue fades out of the backfield. Tom Ramsey looks at LaRue, draws the safety away, and then flings a pass post right in the middle of the field as he draws the safety out. The, the, he, he frees the tight end into open space for 35 yards. 11, 21, 31, 34, down to the 21-yard line. The crowd here stunned silent as Ramsey's burned him again. Open the game up with a big pass to Chris Haynes and then draws the safety out with LaRue coming out of the backfield. Meets enough room and he catches it and runs 35 yards first down. Ramsey's got a big arm. Unfortunately, Ramsey likes to turn the ball over. Here we go. L.A. now threatening. Not in the right zone yet. And we're going to take advantage of that and throw again so I can gain the advantage of this A matchup. So it's automatically going to help me. Once we're in the red zone, I won't have any advantage with these passers. And here we go. He drops. He drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be just incomplete. Thank God for that. That's an interception. His minus one blank, 21, incomplete. If this is in the red zone, that's picked off. So right there would have been a bad deal. Second down, Ramsey again throws a close one. The CB breaks on it, cannot quite get the ball in. He bats it away, but everybody collectively yells, and they see that cornerback break on that pass. And Ramsey dodges a bullet. That would have been his second pick today, a potential pick. He's thrown one that was dropped. All right, here we go. we got to bring in the two big backs. These guys helped him last week dominate uh, running the ball. John Barrett enters the game. Wilbert Haslip enters the game. L.A. fans all over the country watching it on television cheer when Barnett and Haslip come in. Uh, the few L.A. fans that have made the trip a few hundred miles over here to Sun Devil Stadium, they're cheering John Barnett and Wilbert Haslip. These guys are the heroes of last week's game. Absolutely. And we're going to pitch it to Barnett on second and two. And he's going to get the ball. He's toting the rock around the edge. And he's going to get, unfortunately, pushed out of bounds, third and ten. And we're in trouble. Now, we definitely got to pass. We're going to go for the big tight end again, Ricky Ellis. We are not inside the red zone, so we benefit from that. He drops, sets. Oh, beautiful. Ramsey, again, waits for his tight end to clear on a flag route. Throws a beautiful floater. Only Ricky Ellis can get to. And we do not modify this. 24 touchdown. It drops into the bucket three yards into the end zone. So that ball crosses the goal line and drops right into his hands with uh, three yards into the end zone. No one can touch that. Ramsey with a perfect teardrop pass. And Ramsey, the veteran, with a 21-yard pass to their brilliant tight end, Ricky Ellis. And folks, it's 10-10 in the first quarter. Can you believe it? Whoops, wrong guy. We got to kick the extra point. Absolutely spot on. Beautiful. Vince Abbott comes out to tie this up. And indeed, he does. PAT is good. It is 10-10 after one. And the fans here all over the country, watching on TV and here in the stadium, are seeing the best of what the USFL has to offer early in their uh, first uh, uh, inaugural season. 2-0 LA falls behind, looks like they're going to have a rough day, and they have found a way with the backup quarterback to battle back. This team uh, has been living um, above their heads for the last couple of weeks. They are 1-1. One one. They did lose one, but it was a close game. 
and they are executing. They're doing everything they're capable of doing. As long as they execute, this team can surprise people as they have done. Here we go. It's a kickoff now from Abbott. Off the tee, it's a big kick. It's going to drive them down to the touchback. It's going to be through the end zone and the, uh, too far back for anybody to bother to return. They're going to kneel down there and not risk it. And Arizona fans, again, excited as they take the field. Uh, Kelvin Murray is going to be in the backfield over Bledsoe to start this drive, and we're going to pass it to Murray on the first play. He drops, Risher sets, looks, flips it out to Murray and gets a 40-yard completion on a swing route. He tiptoes out of bounds, second and six. Bill Walsh would call that a win, right? Anytime we get a good portion of uh, yardage, or at least if we can, well, no, nah, Bill Walsh, I think, says a five or more on first down is a win. Not, not quite a win. That would be... One yard shy of a win on first down, Bill Walsh, in the West Coast offense. Uh, we're going to hand it to the big fullback, second and six. And again, the defense is ready for this as they cut him down, but he's going to actually get eight yards. So they cut him down, but only after he breaks through. Beautiful. Uh, I'm telling you what, man, this Arizona team is so, there's something about them, man. They're very, they're, they're, they're like perfect, perfectly balanced. Um all right, we're going to throw to the tight end, Mark Keel. They're, they definitely had a better offense than they had a defense, I think. Their defense is rated, their offense with the injuries rated 31. Their defense is rated 32, but their their actual numbers on their card are pretty good. Uh, all right, we're going to pass to the tight end, drops back, sets. We're going to probably see why in a minute and why they don't. Uh, yeah, incomplete, uh, second down, second down. And we're going to hand it off to Bledsoe's going to come in and get the rock on a power sweep behind the center. We're going right side power behind Rickman, I mean behind Kill, uh, Howell, and Rickman. Snaps the ball. They're going to execute. The blocks are there, folks. Rickman, the, the in four flowers, is getting a block on his cornerback. But can Bledsoe squeeze through and make anything happen? He does. No, he gets cut down. Third and ten. Wow. So now we're seeing Arizona struggle a little bit here. Third down. we got to be careful. We don't want to turn it over. Um, it's 10 to 10. LA has shown that uh, given time, they are going to be tough to stop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass the ball home. We don't want to be, we don't want to give up, but we got to be careful. So we're keeping Bledsoe and Howell in the block. We're going to drop back. It's going to be three men in routes. The the uh, the X receiver in the route, the Y receiver in the route, and the Z receiver in the route, and two men in the block. Drops back. They're going to get protection from their uh, front seven. Five linemen, two backs, protection, 61. Let's see, if, let's see if they do get that protection. 61, he drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be um, eight yards. Not enough, though, folks. They're two yards shy of the first. Great strike. Balholm cuts short his out route, two yards shy, and they get a fourth and two marker. The coach uh, talking to Balholm as they come off the bench. You've got to get to the sticks. You cut that short. That's why the pass looked easy because he cut it short, but the reality is you've got to get to the sticks on third and 10. you got to run 12. you got to run 11. They're going to punt the ball. Mike Neese in for the first time today, and that says something about Arizona. The first time we've seen their punter here in the second, the, uh, all the way into the second quarter before we've seen their punter. 32. Oh, and he fumbles the snap. He fumbles the snap, folks. Mike Neese, the ball comes back to him. He bobbles it, drops it, Loses six. The ball is loose. Let's roll to see who recovers this. And it's going to be fallen on by Greg Fields. Defensive end. He comes around like he's going to block it. The ball is dropped. Fields is the first man to fall on it. And that's the first big mistake for Arizona today, folks. Punt. Fumble. Lost. Greg Fields recovers it. Falls on it in front of the punter. Six yards were lost, and he falls on it, and uh-oh, Arizona's first big mistake could be the one that puts them behind the eight ball for the remainder of the game. The crowd here at home, uh, very disappointed with that. As the first time we see their punter, it is, a, it is a foul up. As he goes to punt that ball, fumbles it, right? The ball comes to him awkward. He can't get it, and there's a fight for it. Ellis, a fields falls on it. Holy cow. With that said, Ramsey's going to strike quick. He's going to take a shot to Chris Haynes. They're going to drop set both their big backs in to protect. And he's going to get everything he wants on a play-action pass. He rolls up, steps, fires, and it's going to be a six-yard strike to Chris Haynes. 
as he, he started to do a, uh, a comeback. And uh, he's deeper when that ball left, but ended up meeting him at six. He's tackled immediately, but it's a second and four. Second and four. We're going to go ahead and pass for Ricky Ellis here. Take advantage of a, of a reeling Arizona. Ah, but they're ready. They drop into coverage. Uh, Ramsey sets up, looks, fires again out. And it's going to be seven-yard strike and a first down. So now Ramsey is executing the short game. Six yards to Haynes, seven yards to their tight end, Ricky Ellis. First down. They're not inside the red zone. So, again, we're in a situation where we could throw again and utilize these A receivers. Uh, or we can start pounding the rock. I'm going to take another pass. We're going to risk the biscuit to get inside the red zone one more time. And we're going to do a play action to Ricky Ellis. Both backs. Uh, Haslip, it fakes like he's getting the ball. And John Barnett is going to stay in the backfield to protect the rollout of Ramsey. So, fullback fake. Ramsey's rolling to the right, and Barnett is chasing to get his backside protection. So Barnett is following his quarterback to pick up backside failure. Ricky Ellis is running a little a flag route. Drops back. Ramsey fakes it. Drops. Rolls. Looks. Fires. It's going to be incomplete. And folks, the safety broke on that and batted it. And that's why that was incomplete. Ramsey comes back again that close to an interception. Uh, they shake their head. Uh, both uh, Haslip and Barnett leave. They were pass protectors on that series, but they need more dangerous backs in here. So Harrington and Bodie return. These guys were in for those three passes to help protect their quarterback. And here we go. It is second and ten. They're threatening at the 21. And we're going to pitch it to Tony Bodie. Try to get to the corner. And no, the defense knows what's coming here. And he's going to get tripped up for throw. He gets three. He manages to turn the corner and wiggle through for three. And a little burst. You can see him string it out, string it out, and then he rips through for three. And uh, it's second, it's third and seven. Third and seven. Now we're inside the 20, so my receivers are all Bs, except for Williams, who remains a C. And we are going to pass to Williams. Um, excuse me, we're going to pass to our B, Harrington, the fullback. So we're going to look for our fullback on the swing route. Oh, and the defense breaks this down. Ramsey drops, sets, looks. He's going to end up getting sacked from behind. So as he drops, sets, and starts to pass, gets buried from behind on a four-yard loss. 46 plows into him. The third-highest man gets to him before Bodie. He just basically runs Bodie over. Uh, the fourth-highest man. Wow, it's going to be one, two, three. Holy cow. It's going to be John Kimmel, weak side linebacker on a blitz. This is what's called a will blitz. Weak side, weak will, will blitz. John Kimmel comes on a will blitz, runs little Tony Bodie over, and Ramsey, as he plants his feet to throw to the fullback, gets pounded for a loss of four. One, two, three, four. It is fourth down, and the crowd roars when Kimmel buries Ramsey full force. Ramsey getting up slow. They don't have a choice. Abbott. Here we go. We're making the kick from the 29-yard line. Vince Evans, snap, hold, and boom. Toes it. Soccer style is no good. It wiggles, wiggles, and floats right. No good. 20. Abbott misses a 29-yard field goal. No good. And the crowd roars when they, they see both back, uh, back judges come out waving those no good. And they're going to get the ball at the 27. First down, and Arizona draw, uh, uh, dodges a huge bullet on that fumbled punt. Fumbled punt. We get a pass and a pass to get down there. And then fortunately, almost intercepted, deterred us from throwing again. Had a couple of uh, stops. And then a big sack there on Tom Ellis from Kimmel. There you have it, folks. First down at the 27-yard line. Rishers had a good day so far. We're going to hand it off to Bledsoe. We are in the we are in the late moments of the third our second quarter. We're closing in on halftime. Wow, beautiful handoff. He gets some blocks, but the defense crashes down with all linebackers. Let's see what he gets. He might burst through, and in, uh, he does not. Uh, let's see here. Um, so they make the move. He's going to get, oh, he doesn't have a K. Down one, uh, no, up one. He gets eight yards, so they manage to sl slam down and shut it off for turning into a larger game. It's second and two. Second and two. We're going to give it to the big fullback now on the first man through. Dive play, trying to get the first. And no, he gets buried at the line, and they they, they signal, 
no gain. It is third and two. Well, we have no choice. We're going to look for our tight end. It is going to be a standard three-step drop and a quick pass. Let's see what they get from this. And they execute beautifully. Can he complete it, though? It's going to be a completion for four yards. Exactly. Three steps. Fires to the tight end on a quick out for four. First down, the crowd roars. The TV cuts away to raw-looking fans holding up banners and, and T-shirts <clears throat> and number one signs as Mark Hill makes yet another third down catch. We're going to bring Kelvin Murray back in the ball game, and we're going to uh, swing pass out to Kelvin Murray. Here we go. Drops back. Beautiful look. Risher stops, plants his feet, fires, and Murray just can't get to that incomplete second down and 10. Despite everything going right for him, Richard misses his man, second and 10. We're going to hand it off to Murray now uh, on a uh, standard off tackle. Slanting off that uh, uh, nose tackle, off that uh, left tackle, uh, right tackle. We slant off of him behind the right guard and the tackle, the fullback. And they're ready for this. They're going to bury this down. However, not before he picks up eight yards. It takes some work, but they get it. It's third and two. Man, Calvin Murray whittles through there. I would have never thought that on that roll. Bledsoe in, third and two. And here we go. <clears throat> We're going to run Bledsoe to get this first down. The crowd here excited. Bledsoe gets a nice handoff. He's going to execute beautifully. Tears through, gets around the edge on a surprising um, sweep. And he's going to pick up 16 down to the enemy's 38-yard line. The crowd roars as Bledsoe gets up after being drugged down by two secondary men. And holy cow, Bledsoe leaving the game with a little bit of a limp after that. He rips 16 off and comes up, though, with a smile on his face. And But he has a little limp in his gait. He leaves the field. And we're going to hand it off to the fullback. The crowd roaring as they're seeing their Arizona team get back in track. Oh, he, uh, Howell gets the handoff up the gut. He's going to get popped for twin, uh, for one yard. Bam. Second down and nine. So can't quite get out of the backfield, Howell, but he does pick up one with the length of his body. And here we go. We're going to take a shot to Balcom. This is going to be a drop back. Howell and Murray staying in. Three men in the patterns looking for their best receiver. Drops, sets. He's, he's covered well, and it's going to be... It's going to be eight-yard catch. Not enough for the first, folks, but it makes it a convertible third and two. And Arizona, perfect execution. Perfect execution. Man, the little run here, short pass there, run there, short pass here. Once They have not thrown a pass, though, over 24 yards. These guys have already thrown two 35-yard strikes, so pretty sweet. All right, Bledsoe, after that 16-yard run, back in. There's no limp now in his gate. He had a Charlie horse or something. So as he returns to the huddle, there's no sign of a limp, Bledsoe. And it is third and two, and you know what they're going to do. They're going to hand it off to Bledsoe. They're going to challenge this defense to stop their running game, and the defense is ready. It's going to be for sure. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, 12. And, yeah, they're going to cut him down. He cannot get past the line of scrimmage as this group bottles up those linemen, and he grinds his legs Slides down, collapses under the weight of men, and they signal when he comes out of the scrum, they show he has not gained anything. Fourth and two. We're in field goal range. Denfield's going to go out with a chance to take the lead. It is 10 to 10, folks. This would break the tie in Arizona. And the kick, 53. The kick is up, and it is true. A 30 uh, six-yard kick for Denfield. Denfield, is, if I remember right, has not really had a bad day. He's a pretty good kicker. And it is 10-13, Arizona at home with a three-point lead and leaving approximately three and a half minutes to play for, Air, for Los Angeles. A chance for L.A. to do something for sure. The kickoff is... Okay... The kickoff is to the 9-yard line. Beautiful kick. Floats around the 9. Uh, he comes up uh, from the 5. He's Anthony Allen takes three steps up, fills this right in the belly, and then takes off and wiggles for 19 yards out to the... Wait a second. He caught that at the 9, and 19 is the 28. At the 28-yard line. Very nice. Let that ball hit him on the chest. You'd like to catch it with your hands, but... Some of these kick returners like to 
let it hit him in the chest, you know, dangerous, but uh, there it is. Here we go. This is the final drive of the half, roughly three minutes, right, in, uh, in abstract time. And here we go. We're going to uh, pass it to Tony Bodie. He drops back, looks. Ramsey, who's had a couple of close calls today, looks for Bodie, fires it out. It's going to be incomplete, second down. Second down. We're going to go ahead and throw for the big tight end. Again, both backs staying in the block. Three men in the patterns. Drops. Sets. Ramsey, who again does play with fire. He's going to get hammered. He throws out a beautiful strike for 16 to the uh, tight end in the middle of the field. This time, though, both safeties collapse, and the ball pops free. Uh, there is a scrum for it. The referees do not blow the whistle. This is a live ball, folks. And D7, the, the weak side backer, is going to come away with it. John Kimmel having one of the best days of his young USFL career. He's had a sack, and now he's, re they, they, he's recovered a loose ball from Ricky Ellis to end the half. So Ellis, fumble lost, recovered by Kimmel, and Kimmel had a sack earlier in the game as well to kill a, uh, a drive that L.A. had. So, wow, Kimmel, congratulations, John Kimmel, getting the job done. And that's going to end the half right there. The whistle will blow as they fall on that ball. Ricky Ellis get, get, again, open in the middle of the field, but this time somebody drilled him. Tommy Wilcox drilled him. Ball came loose. Some guys thought it was incomplete, but when there was no whistle and there was no waving of the hands, they fell on the ball, and Kimmel comes away with it. And they're going to go into the halftime. The fans, Arizona up by a narrow three-point, by a narrow field goal. First half finished. Abbott missed a field goal earlier in the third. Denfield gets their field goal, and that's the difference in the ball game here. As we had a punt fumbled, it led to Abbott with an opportunity, but he failed to get it. Denfield takes advantage, drives down, gets it, and then they take the ball away there right before the half. Los Angeles will get the ball to start the second. And we're going to keep going. I think my camera is going to make it. I'm going to keep going. And here we go. Los Angeles gets the ball. Kickoff. Beautiful kick. Down to the seven again. So he takes two steps up from the five-yard line. You know, you're taught to plant your feet at the five or the, or the, depending on the opponent's quality kicker, you're planting your feet at the ten, the five, or the goal line. He's planting his feet at the five, anticipating these shallow, uh, more shallow kicks. But let's hope he can field it and get something out of it. And he's going to rumble for 18 yards, not great, out to the 25. That's not bad, though. We'll take that. And here we go. Anthony Allen, good job. All right, L.A., un uh, uncharacteristically struggling here, but I'm not real surprised with a backup quarterback in the ballgame. We're going to hand it off to LaRue. We have not been able to get our running game established. That's the big problem. It's a handoff versus a safe defense. And he gets the ball and rumbles for five yards. That's exactly what we need to start doing. Five-yard carries. LaRue with a five-yard carry. We're going to keep the ball and hand it to LaRue again. We're going to take advantage of this right now. And LaRue's going to rumble for two more. And it's now third and three. Now we're in a doable third down. LaRue's going to come out instead for a true fullback, Haslip, and a true halfback, Barnett. So these guys are exactly... Right, um, a true. These guys are what they do. One guy's a, a runner. One guy's more or less a short yardage blocker, etc. Neither one of them can catch. So this is a legitimate short yardage set, and we're going to hand it to the big fullback. Third and three, and they're looking to just pound the rock and establish some control of the line of scrimmage against an overachieving uh, Arizona defense. Here it is. Hands off to Haslip. 24, he's going to get one yard, and that's it for fourth and two. Los Angeles is opening drive. Not enough imagination. We're going to have to punt the ball. Partridge, Jeff Partridge, boom. Their first punt in a long time, and it's going to be uh, pretty good. 39, average. And it's going to be fielded at the 28-yard line by Wally Henry. I really like Wally Henry. 33, and now you see why. He's got magic in them, their legs. Nine, and he rumbles for 18. Holy cow, folks. We are seeing Arizona is definitely a team when they're striking on all cylinders. They are no pushover. Unbelievable. Punt for L.A. on their opening drive of the second half, down by three. The two big backs did not get it done. 
Um, but I didn't want to pass with Ramsey there. Um, don't ask me why. I wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling it. Here we go. All right, we're going to hand it off to Curtis Bloodsoe. They're in the lead. They just want to establish uh, some control. Oh, beautiful. The blocks are there, and the running back executes. Bledsoe gets, holy cow, he's going to rumble for six yards. Three, actually, they overblocked it. Um, that The sad part is, is had they had they been base, he, or, or even the defense had reacted properly. So this was, a, basically, this would have been a designed counter. And the defense, because they won the counter, the defense wasn't where they were supposed to go. It actually hurt them, cost them 10 yards. But it's still a six-yard gain, three, four, five, six. So, again, you can make narrative sense of going from a 16 to a 6 because they over the defense should have over-pursued on this counter, and they didn't. And that's how we can understand why it could go from 16 to 6, right? You can understand. If you understand football, you know. Why could the defense be, look perfect on that and actually uh, the play look perfect on that and the defense actually make a decent play because they didn't do what they were supposed to do, over-pursue? All right, Kelvin Murray, we're going to pass to Murray. Oh, another beautiful play by the quarterback. He drops there. They drop into a safe, uh, bend but don't break defense, and Reicher throws a perfect strike for 35 yards to the man, Calvin Murray, out of the backfield. So you can imagine, Murray takes off and wheel routes, and he drops sets, and when he hits that final step on the, se on the fifth step, he just floats it down the sideline, outrunning the strong side backer is Calvin Murray on a teardrop wheel route, and he beats Sam Norris, and Calvin Murray, 35 yards later, down, and he's finally just pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line. The crowd here erupts as they realize now Arizona is about to put a fat lead upon their enemy, the 2-0. Los Angeles Express. We're going to hand it to Bledsoe now. Alan Risher is... Uh, the one thing you know they can do is pass. When you have three A's and a good quarterback, they may have been 4-14, four and 14, but they were capable of, uh, of passing the ball. Here we go. We're going to hand it to Bledsoe. Uh, hand off against the rock. He's going to pick up one. He grinds out for one. Whoops, uh, I should probably put the flags out here. Uh, and that is second and nine. Second and nine. Beautiful plays. Man, Arizona is fun to play. We're going to go ahead and hand it to Bledsoe again on a power sweep right, which means everybody, fullback, tight end, uh, flanker, everybody's blocking on a power sweep. But they're going to string it out. Can he get something? He lowers his shoulder and gets nothing. On the power sweep, they string it out, string it out, string it out. He just steps out of bounds. And we're going to have to bring in Calvin Murray. We're inside the red zone, so all of our receivers are reduced to Bs. So we don't get any benefit to an A receiver here. Uh, we are going to look for our tight end. It's, we have no choice. It's third and nine. We've got to pass. And the defense is caught off guard. So, again, maybe their, their linebacker in coverage slips, falls down. Maybe maybe he overreads the play. This just tells me the defense is not wrong. It's just maybe somebody over here failed to do their job. Uh, Reicher drops, sets, looks, uh, and fires it out to Risher and I mean to um, uh, Kill and unfortunately Kill it's uh, it's, it's it, he climbs the ladder too high it clears over his head and bounces off the crossbar and dies in the end zone fourth down and Arizona gets down there on a beautiful real route pass to Murray they cannot convert it's going to be another field goal chance but the crowd happy as it's better to be going up by six than to be punting the ball away. Uh, snap, set, down, and he got he got it. Denfield is looking like the guy right now for this Arizona team. And Denfield's going to make a 28-yard <clears throat> uh, 28, 28 field goal. By the way, I've been, I've been playing the 50 so much. That was a 46-yard field goal and a 39-yard field goal. I've been mismarking my field goals. So I've, been think, I've been playing the 50 so much. So... I need to change all of these numbers. Uh, the first quarter, I got the numbers right. 39-46. So he missed a 39-yard field goal, not a 29-yard field goal. Denfield made a 46-yard field goal in the second. And he just made a 28-yard field goal. And it's now 16-10. to 10. Hometown team is up. i got to remember, this isn't 1958. I keep marking it 7. So I, I fixed those. And Denfield, with the kickoff, is going to put this ball in the end zone. So they're feeling pumped up. The crowd uh, in full throat. TV uh, 
selectively picking fans in the stands, showing happy and full stadium. We, we don't know the truth on television. They're not going to publish these data, this data till later. How many people are estimated here? They might announce on TV, estimated 27,000 or something like that. And here we go. We've got to get this LA offense going. Mike Ray, I'm, I'm beginning to realize Tom Ramsey for his bombs, for his ability to throw the ball deep, is a risk. And but we are with that said, I'm going to throw to Chris Haynes. We're going to try to open this up again. And the defense is ready. Fortunately, Ramsey is accurate. He drops back, sets, fires. It's going to be 24 yards. 10, 20, and 4. Another strike. So Ramsey's thrown one for 35, 35, 24, and 24. So Ramsey is the big arm guy here. No doubt in this game. It ain't Risher. He's throwing, he's throwing these wonderful little short routes. Ramsey is throwing in the top tier. So pretty cool to see how quarterbacks produce different results, which is really, really cool. All right, we're going to hand it off to Tony Bodie on a sweep. Let's hope he can get something. Oh, great execution. Tony Bodie goes for 16 yards. And uh-oh, folks, L.A. waking up from their stupor. Maybe they took this team a little light going in this week. A lot of talk about there being 2-0 and and these guys squeaking by some teams. And uh, maybe these guys were underestimating their opponent. Well, there you go. Tony Bodie gets 16. Game over. If these guys start rolling, we're going to hand it off to Harrington up the gut. Harrington's going to rumble. For five yards, we love that second down and five. We're going to uh, rumble again with Harrington. Why not? Let's go again with the first man through. Beautiful execution. He's going to rumble for 11. He tears through, and now Arizona. Maybe Arizona's feeling too good about themselves. The defense is a little lax. They're feeling like they've got this one, and now this 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 is that round in a heavyweight fight where you think you've got it won, and that, you know, ding, 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 round 10 starts, and your opponent clocks you with a couple of big punches to wake you up. So Arizona now reeling. They're on their heels in what I would call a surprising round by this heavyweight. Bang, bang, bang. Holy cow. Just like that, L.A. is threatening. We're going to pass for Haynes, trying to throw a touchdown pass here and get out of this drive quickly. Oh, but the defense is reading it. Ramsey drops, sets, fires. It's going to be a completion for four. I would call that a dink down. He'd probably dump that down to LaRue Harrington or something. If I was tracking stats, I would probably call that a, a, a check down to LaRue or somebody if I was tracking stats. Second and six. Tony Bodie's going to get the handoff up the gut behind his big fullback and his big tight end, and they execute beautifully. He's going to rumble for two yards. It's third and three. No, it's third and four. Third and four. And we don't have a choice now. we got to put the ball in the air. We're in the red zone, so no benefit from our A receivers. We're going to look for our tight end, Ricky Ellis. I just love the tight end. I'm a tight end guy. And Ramsey, let's hope you do too. He drops sets. The tight end's covered, though. It's going to be uh, plus one, 15. Three-yard catch. Not enough. So Ellis turns shy of the first down marker. Boom. The ball hits him hard between the numbers. He gets tackled immediately. And again, the coach is saying to these guys, you can't run a short route on third and four. You got to go third and you got to go four. You got to go five. It's fourth and one. They're down by only two field goals, 10 to six. Abbott has missed a chip, not a chip shot, but he's missed a 36 yarder. Uh uh. We're bringing in the big boy, Haslip and Barnett. LA's come here to win. If they can convert this, they might be able to get a touchdown, and 17 16 might be all it takes. To beat this good, this Arizona team playing above their heads. Fourth and one. And we're going to give it to the big fullback, Wilbur Haslip, who last week, these two guys were unstoppable. Snap. Oh, they execute. He gets it. Oh, no. He gets nothing. This doesn't modify. Oh, Haslip slips, loses his footing. And this front seven, bury it, and it can't get anywhere. It's a TOD for L.A. That was a 12. I'm just curious. Would he have made the kick? It's not fair. I should never do this because it's really not fair, but it's always fun to look. He would, no, he would have missed the kick, folks. So don't blame the coach. He he would have missed that kick with the same roll. Literally no good. So he would have missed yet another chip shot, and poor Abbott would have had to live with that. So TOD, not so bad. Not only that, it forces these guys to play from the 16. Holy cow, last drive, last two minutes of the third quarter, folks. I think my camera's going to make it. And here we go. We're going to hand it off to Bledsoe. 
in for Calvin Murray. And uh, they're going to be ready for this. 61-19. He's going to rumble for two yards. One, two. Man, Arizona is holding on by the skin of their teeth against a really good L.A. team. We're going to uh, pass the Murray out of the backfield. Rishers had a beautiful day. Drop sets. Oh, coverage is there, but he throws an accurate pass right on the button. Uh, 17 yards. Holy cow. 3, 10, and 4. Risher has just been... So good in this early three games of the USFL career. Atlin Risher. Calvin Murray, they had the coverage, and he just threw a perfect strike to Murray. Murray's caught a 35-yard wheel route, and now he's caught a pass, a check down that he turned into 17. And right now, Arizona is just perfect. Bledsoe's going to get the rock. They're going to end this quarter here pretty quick. And he's going to get nothing here on that second down. We're going to run Bledsoe again. Uh, and this time he's going to rumble for three yards. Nice. One, two, three. It's third down. we got to pass. And we're going to look for our great tight end, Mark Kill. And it's going to be double help here. Twelve. Richard drops, sets, looks, fires. Incomplete. They had the man and they had the perfect execution. Richard just cannot find his target over his head. Fourth down. And Arizona in the third is going to be forced to punt. And again, L.A. blanked in the third quarter. Arizona comes away with three and the punt. We're in the fourth quarter now, folks. What a game this has been. Beautiful game. And 39 yards. And there it is. It's, re it's uh, retrieved at the 24th. Backpedaling. Uh, back for that is uh, Willie Tolbert. And Tolbert is going to take this ball and rumble for 11 yards. Beautiful. Tolbert has to backpedal, but catches it and realizes that when he's backpedaling that that's giving him distance from the two killers. And he just shoots up the middle full steam and picks up 11 before the center, the long snapper, greets him in the middle of the field. He outruns the gunners as he realizes they outkick their coverage, basically. Fourth quarter underway, Los Angeles, down by six. And here we go. They have got to get going. We're going to hand it off to John Barnett. And Barnett gets all the blocks he needs, but can he do anything with it? No, he gets one yard, Barnett. Again, these are short yardage. Well, not short yardage. They're specialists. I mean, they literally are a halfback and a fullback. They don't do anything else. Here we go. We're going to go to uh, Tony Bodie out of the backfield. We're going to pass it to Bodie. Dropping, sets up LaRue, trying to pick up the pressure, and fires it out to Bodie off his fingertips, incomplete, third, down, and nine. Boy, they are struggling. Ramsey, we need Mike Ray. Ramsey, looking for Chris Haynes. Sometimes in football, it you know, you, you encounter a team when they're down a man, when they don't have their best guys, and that's what's happened here for L.A. They don't have Mike Ray. A 21, Ramsey drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be... A three-yard gain, one, two, three. He checks that down to LaRue Harrington. Bad idea. And, and Ramsey gets an earful from the coach. They come off the field. Listen, you can't check it down for three yards when we need ten. And the punt. So L.A. forced to punt on their first drive of the fourth. Partridge needs a good punt. Boom. Kicks it up. And it's, gonna, it's a wanker that kind of drifts and, and swirls and ends up bouncing down at 26 yards downfield. Not good for Partridge. Fortunately, there's no return on the board there. And we're going to hand it to Curtis Bledsoe as Arizona now. Uh, they're, they're looking at a 2-1 and one season start if they can upset L.A. in their house. Hand off to Bledsoe. Nowhere. Second down. We're going to give it to Bledsoe again out of the I formation. Uh, and he rumbles. He gets great footwork. Eight yards, Bledsoe threatening. It's third and two. We're going to hand it off to Bledsoe for a third time. Uh, because I roll the defense, I don't have to worry about whether I overuse, not overuse, or whether I give Bledsoe the ball two or three times in a row. Because the defense, on oh, and they execute. Bledsoe gets the handoff. He's going to rumble for five yards in the first. So Bledsoe has now established control of this game. Arizona fans roaring. And Risher, a uh, big smile on Risher's face when they cut to it from uh, the TV back to the coach. And Risher, under center, snaps the ball. He's going to hand it off to Howell, first man through. And Howell's going to grind out four yards. Wow. Second and six. We're going to uh, hand it off to Bledsoe again. Again, Calvin Murray now out of the game right now because we're in ball control, win the ball game mode. 
And, oh, great execution up front. He gets the handoff. He's going to pick up two yards. Bledsoe, one, two. It is third down and five. No, third and four. Third and four. We're going to pass for Ballholm, the wide receiver. Alan Risher on a play-action pass drops, and it works. That They come. They follow the a handoff fake to Bledsoe. Alan Risher floats around to the right, stops, plants his feet, and fires 13-yard strike for a first down, 11-12-13. And Alan Risher right now has been the best quarterback I've seen in all the teams I've played. Uh, I'm not certain if that was true of Alan Risher in reality, but his performance through three games has been phenomenal. Another another short to mid-range strike. Alan Risher is a very effective quarterback, man. Unbelievable. Unlike Ramsey, who's feast or famine, right? Unbelievable. Typical, though, of quarterbacks back in the day. You know, you were, you might complete 52% of your passes, right? It's just you hoping that uh, they complete the right 52% of their passes. All right, uh, Bledsoe is going to get the rock again. This Arizona may complete this game with a dominant drive. Wouldn't that be something? Gets the handoff, takes it, slips down in the backfield. He's touched down uh, for nothing. Second and 10. Bledsoe again behind his big fullback. Gets the rock. He rolls out, stiff arms one guy away, but gets cut down on the edge for only a one-yard game. That's not Bledsoe's game uh, pitch out to the corner, but they tried it. All right, third down. We're going to go ahead and put the ball in the air to the tight end, Mark Kill. Can Risher convert yet another third down or third and long? Drops, sets, fires. It's going to be uh, to a receiver, three yards, one, two, three. So there's an example of Risher again checking it down to Bledsoe. He, out in the flat, he jukes right, jukes left, and only gets three. It's fourth down. However, the coach over here telling his quarterback, I'm okay with that. We're winning this ball game. Don't do something stupid. So it didn't get him the first, but it was a smart play. He got yardage. He gave Bledsoe a chance, and he didn't risk the biscuit by throwing it somewhere else. So there are some check downs that a coach, when you're up by six late in the fourth, you're happy to see. Can Denfield be a hero and put this game out of reach? Let's find out. This is, uh, let's see here, 29, 39, 46. Denfield with a 46-yarder. Boom. And it is good between a block and a miss. He hits it. Denfield hits another 46-yard field goal. Folks, this is unbelievable. L.A. 10, hometown Arizona 19, and the crowd roars as Denfield's had a brilliant day today. 45. 45 is a kickoff to the 7. Again, he steps up two steps from the 5, as Anthony Allen is predicted. 16, it's going to be a nice return of out to the 21. And L.A. now reeling. They don't have a choice now. They really don't have any option but to heave the ball around the field, pretty much, as they're down by 9. Tony Bodie's going to be in. Uh, Harrington's in. And again, we're going to start with a bomb to Chris Haynes. Let's see if Ramsey can make it happen. 63, drops, sets, fires. Nope, he goes down in a heap. Loss of four. One, two, three, four. So before his back foot hits, somebody comes flying in here. And it's going to be the fourth highest man. One, two, three. Oh, it's Kimmel again. Oh, Kimmel with a second sack. He's had a fumble recovery and two sacks. Kimmel, John Kimmel, having the game of his young career for his Arizona Wranglers. Get out of here. Second and four. So as Ramsey started, did his five-step drop as that back foot hit, bam, Kimmel plows him from behind as Falcon, the left, uh, the right, uh, excuse me, the left tackle, Jeff Keywell, could not defend that weak side will blitz. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I love Apple. I can see all the X's and O's. If you know football, you'll see it all in your mind's eye. It's beautiful. Ricky Ellis, we've got to get some of this yardage back on second and long. He drops sets. We have advantage. Ramsey has all the blocks he needs, has everything he needs. He's going to throw a strike for 17 and a first down. There it is. Ramsey to the middle of the field on a deep end to big Ricky Ellis, the tight end. Beautiful pass. We're going to look for Kelvin Williams now. Drops, sets. The defense is in coverage, and it's going to be incomplete. Fourth, or the first, second down, excuse me. They just threw a first. Dang. All right, we've got to go for Chris Haynes here. Drop, set. Uh, it's going to be a break-even pass of six. 15-yard strike. First down at the 49. And now Ramsey is just hitting his steps and throwing, hitting his steps and throwing. And let's hope 
that these cornerbacks don't jump one of these and pick it off and take it back to the house. We're going we're gonna to swing it out to Tony Bodie. Uh, 61, he drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be a three-step swing to Tony. One, two, three. A three-yard uh, pass to Tony Bodie. Second and seven. We're going to send Tony uh, LaRue Harrington out on the opposite side on a swing route. As now he's trying to bring these safeties up by checking it down. Drops back, sets his back foot, fires. Sure enough, he's going to get a 17-yard strike. Holy, is that right? 17 yards to LaRue. So LaRue catches it seven yards down the field, turns it up for another 10. Holy cow. 17 yards. Okay, wait. That would have been eight. Yeah, back one. There we go. Down to the 31. L.A. looking good, but it's too little too late as they have struggled here in Arizona. Arizona's had the perfect game plan today. We're looking for Chris Hayes trying to throw a touchdown here late. He drops, sets, flips it out, incomplete. That one just flat overthrown down deep down the sideline. Uh, we're going to go for Ricky Ellis on a, po on a, on a uh, flag route. So he runs down the middle and cuts toward the corner. Trying to get the uh, angle on the safety, right? You want to throw the ball here. The safety cannot get across the top fast enough. Can he do it? Drops back, sets, flips it out. Holy cow, he's going to get a completion for two. Okay, so he saw it, pumped it, and then just chucked it down to LaRue for a two-yard check down, second or third and eight. Uh, so again, Ramsey wasn't dumb enough to throw a pick out there as the safety was 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 anticipating and cutting off his tight end on that. So the safety did not give up leverage, right? Here we go. We're going to swing it out to Tony Bodie. It's third and eight. got to get something going here. He drops, sets, looks, fires. It's going to be 17, incomplete. Fourth down. And we have no choice at this point. We're going to take a shot at the end zone to Chris Haynes. He drops, sets, plants his back foot, looks over the targets, fires it out. For seven, it's going to be shy of one yard. Oh, my God. And the and the coach over here throws his clipboard and tells Ramsey to come off. What did I tell you? You've got to get first. They're going to turn the ball over. T-O-D. Arizona now just has to kill clock. One yard shy of a first down again. And Ramsey, Mike Ray, maybe gets eight there. Maybe gets nine there. Mm, unbelievable. How about that? And the Arizona fans and, and uh, coaching staff and bench are celebrating. They have they have thwarted the 2-0 LA Express. All they got to do now is get a first down or, or at least achieve a drive. Handoff is going to be 23 yards for Big Bledsoe as Bledsoe is juiced up as they're going to get another win early in this USFL season. Bledsoe is going to get the rock again. Handoff goes, and he's going to rumble for another five yards. It is third and two. Fullback, first man through. Let's get the first down and go home, gentlemen. Here it is, 26 is four, uh, 15. 16, he rips through. As the as you can imagine, the LA Express team is, is knows the game's over. He tears through. They make the tackle to, to, to stop the game, but that's it. That is kill clock scenario. And a TE, time expires. Arizona is going to win this game, folks. Can you believe it? 10 to 19. Air, uh, uh, LA goes to 2 and 1 in the division. And Arizona, 2 and 1 in the division. So this is looking like it's going to come down to a bitter, bitter battle in the West between Arizona and LA. So the rivals, early in their career, don't know it yet, but Arizona and LA are rivals. And Arizona has won the first in a in hopefully a long history between these two teams. Uh, I don't anticipate this USFL league folding. <clears throat> that has been Apple Football Simple Solo Express. My final charts using my execution die for all defense and offensive roles. Then I call the targets. I call the plays, and there it is, folks. This is how I most likely will play all of my games that I at least do for YouTube. Thank you for watching. Good day.